Now let us see the definition of psychology. Psychology has been defined in a number of ways by various authors throughout the history. Psychologists have been debating on whether psychology should focus on mind, consciousness or behavior. Let us see some further details on this matter. Some of the early definitions of psychology. Now, psychology was initially a branch of philosophy. Now, what is the definition of philosophy? The definition of philosophy is, it is a way of thinking about the world, the universe and the society. It works by asking very basic questions about nature of human thought, nature of universe and the connection between them. The ideas of philosophy are often general and abstract. Ancient philosophers were interested in the study of soul. Now, there were some drawbacks in this definition. Soul can be defined as the spiritual or immaterial part of human being or an animal regarded as immortal. Hence, soul was a very vague term to start with. There were also questions regarding the physical existence, weight and volume of soul. Lastly, soul is metaphysical in nature basically. So metaphysical means something referring to an idea, doctrine or reality outside of human sense perception. So these were the reasons why this definition was discarded in the past. Then it was defined as the science of mind by some Greek philosophers. Mind refers to the aspects of intellect and consciousness manifested as combinations of thought, perception, memory, emotion, will and imagination including all the brain's conscious and unconscious cognitive processes. Some of the drawbacks of this definition was that psychology was held as a branch of mental philosophy. Hence, somewhere it was still a subfield of philosophy which was not quantifiable or measurable. Definition also does not include overt behavior of human beings. Now, overt behavior means any bodily action that person can directly and sensorily observe. Some examples of overt behavior include walking, dancing, running, using body language such as hand gestures and facial expressions. The last thing was mind cannot be measured directly. So these were some of the flaws why uh, the definition that psychology is a science of mind had to be discarded. Now, you see how we keep coming back to the, this word measurable because anything which is measurable and reasonable is considered scientific and anything which can't is just a pseudoscience.